to have in the past put on wonderful shows for children under the guise of Dr. Bob. Do you see a connection between magic and the magical solutions to current health challenges that emerge from Langer Labs? Yeah, I do. I mean, to me, I mean, that gets back to curiosity-based research and things like that. You know, I feel like when, when you're trying to do an experiment and it works, you know, and especially after a lot of times it doesn't work, you know, that's kind of magical. And I, I think, um, you know, and I think there's always surprises in research. That's the great thing about sort of curiosity, you know, based research. I think, uh, you know, sometimes you find things that uh, you're never expecting. I mean, just to give an example, one of my students at uh, Armand Shari, he was doing his uh, PhD thesis with me and Klaus Jensen. And we were looking at ways of just doing some basic studies of, uh, of inserting genes and cells. But Klaus uh, did a lot of what's called microfluidics, and we had this little uh, channel that was, that was constricted that uh, Armin kept flowing the cells through and hitting it with a gene gun. And but one day, but the, but when the cells go through the constriction, they're sort of squeezed. So one day, Armin, you know, just took the gene gun away, and it turned out he got exactly the same results. Meaning that when you squeeze the cells you can insert things like genes in, in it. And so, you know, he followed that up with a paper and, you know, now he's CEO of a company that has a, that's a public company has over a hundred employees, wow. uh, you know, and so, but, but that was certainly magical. We never expected that to happen. And, and yet it's a, you know, major finding. In wow. fact, interesting 2014, uh, you know, scientific American came out with their top 10, uh, most important things in 2013 and they said CRISPR was first and that was second. <laughs> <laughs>